everybody, welcome to another thrilling, spectacular, ass-kicking episode of Retro Fighters. This is Mark Rodriguez speaking. Johnny Rodriguez. And uh, we're playing Final Fight. This is one of the final levels, almost a final level. We're fighting in the Bay Area here. I'm the first player, I'm Guy. And I'm Hagar. And, well... Or Hagar, I don't know how people... I don't know. Whatever you like to pronounce his name. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Sega CD version called him Hagar or something. But anyways, I don't know. I see an A there. I don't see an E. I say Hagar. But anyways, um, hopefully for Anime Vegas, I might be able to... What the hell are you doing? You're just punching the air over there. Anyways, um, I might try to cosplay as Guy this year. So, of course, the Super Alpha version of Guy with the shoes and everything. So, we'll see how that works out. And I'll cosplay as Hagar. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, well, you're going to be like the skinniest Hagar ever. Well, on other things, we want to say thanks to all you future subscribers there. We noticed that from one day to the other, it's just like, BAM! Just like nine subscribers out of nowhere. So, we hope that you like this, um, this show of ours. Because Retro Fighters is obviously, you can ask Pete about it, a lot easier to do. Let's play stuff. Where the video game masters, it requires more scripting and more things and talking. We do have an episode... Hopefully coming up within the week, but in the meantime, we'll probably do a bit of Retro Fighters here and there. And, don't miss, on Tuesday, we might put a, well, we will film it Tuesday, but we, we might edit for next week. But we have the epic matchup of Johnny Rodriguez versus the Sumo Bowl. That's a Super Bowl, the Sumo Bowl. Well, Tuesday or whatever day you have off, this job is so crazy nowadays. But, um, yeah, it's a real big super deep bowl that's full of like ramen noodles and like sushi or I don't know whatever other like veggies and stuff you put in ramen things and if Johnny can finish it all he gets 280 smackaroons yeah break those barriers that'll be worth the money I guess yeah I might give it a shot too if I don't have eggs in it I don't like eggs let's hope Jimmy or someone comes because if I enter it both of us we're gonna need a camera now but whoa where else do you go so hmm? It's weird how their names were um, Andore and then like in the okay. SFC. Break those barrels, break those barrels. It's Hugo, like what's with the name change? Oh, that's it's annoying, hate those fucking barrels. We don't break them fast enough, dumb bad guys kick them into you and everything. I am so surprised how very incredibly different Mighty Final Fight to NES version was. But it, are you hitting it? Oh, okay, you're hitting. I'm hitting down doorways. Damn, doors. bitch, get off me! I wonder. You guys give your thoughts. We actually own a Nintendo version of the game, although it's gonna be kind of solo because it's a one-player game. But if you wanted to do the walkthrough of uh, Mighty Final Fight for Nintendo, hey, drop your comments. We'll do it whenever we're done with this game. This um. Yeah. So this, I think that game's a little harder than this one in certain ways. Yeah, but I, I get I get all the way to the end. Oh, fucking barrels! I got no problems with that. Oh my god. Yeah, and these final stages, it just gets packed with enemies, man. I'm you surprised that Huge of Rage does that too. Yeah. I know. No girl allowed on this one. Damn it. I remember, remember the first time we saw on Game Pro TV the, the like final fight, whatever, and just. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh no, and they're like, why is it one player? Why is guy missing? And why is Hagar just saying, yeah? Yeah, it's a shame because the game does have, um, still has great action and the graphics are similar to the arcade. It's so stupid because Cody does say the blah when he does the jump kick, and Guy does say, Eon, final fight, Guy. But Hagar never says, in the, in the arcade anyway, so I don't know why Super Nintendo just added that stupid sound. Yeah. Yeah, I just love that when you're fighting versus the Hollywoods and Elgados, I just love how all the knives keep piling up. And here we go to a dirty bathroom with the word sexy in the background. Oh my god, sexy in the video games. Will someone please think of the children? I'm sexy and I know it. Oh god, this game is so old. I, those people weren't even like... They are probably kids or something back then, huh? Oh, yeah. I forgot who sings those things. Well, there's no better place to beat 
gangster stuff there yeah. in the bathroom. Because Hagar, Hagar has no shirts. Hagar said, wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, 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 yeah. And that's why he got voted for mayor. Uh, He's got the most of the female votes. Okay. Dude, guys, what sucks about these assholes is, I don't know why, but when you get to this stage, like this part in the game, two or three hits from those guys, you're dead. Just like that. Two or three hits from Axel or... And Jake, you know, guys, and Jake, and you're dead. That's, that's fucked up shit. This is like almost the end of the game, you know. It's cool because it's like it is like that, right? Like I guess like in movies and stuff. You start off in the slums, you get more information, you eventually find out that the real guys in charge are super like badass rich, like the corrupt rich people of um, Metro City. So yeah, in the final stages, you're going to the Bay Area, you're going uptown, you're going to like the more badass places. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's way too late now because no one would really give a fuck, really, you know. But it would have been bad as a beat a uh, 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 final fight. Oh shit! Watch out. Final fight uh, movie. I'm fire. We'll go oh my fire god! Movie. You would have had that uh, Elizabeth girl that you know, I have short blonde hair girl, who's that king. She would have been playing. She would have been a good person to play as Lucia from Final Fight Three. I remember. Was her last name Braddock or something like that? I don't remember. I just know she was named China in one of the movies. Very old movies, I would say. Yeah. You're always hitting the air. Inside. There's nothing there, Johnny. It's fun. I know, but let's, let's get this done. Let's get these damn man here, clone your boss. It's so funny how all these games, like, what? Does Mr. X has, like, a cloning machine somewhere? Or Belger? Or any other final boss has a cloning machine? This is Street Race City, also Metro City. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, I wonder how they never had a legal dispute with that one. I don't, I, I don't know if Metro City exists or it's just a common name or something. I'm not sure if other uh, movies, games, or whatever is also used to name Metro City. So I don't know. Either it exists or it's just too common or some crap that there's no legal problems if you use it. Or Look at that. More knives pounding up. Oh, oh, damn it. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't really died much in this part. Oh, look at like you. Well, my character's faster, yeah. Yeah, Hagar slow. Damn it. Keep getting stuck. Oh, shit, okay, now. Let me continue to pick. Yeah, Cody. You hurt my Jessica! And of course, Cody and Guy are coming out in Street Fighter Cross Tekken this fall. As new information that, of course, we never ever knew because, of course, they're not already on the disc or anything. Oh yeah, I'm. Shocked. It's not like if it's not like if hackers like prove to the world that those characters are already on the disc, as well as the Babylicious Elena, and Christy Montero, and you got Blanca there also, and you got Brian Fury. That was the stupidest thing ever, that the fucking E3 thing actually announced it. It's like something new, like, oh my god, brand new characters coming out for DLC! Yeah, we knew that already, you dumbasses! Especially since, um, YouTube had videos on, about that. And not just that, but sometimes in rare occasions, people playing online, they would, like, randomly see a Elena or someone in, as a person because they were playing against a dude that had a hacked version of it. And it's like, yeah, Capcom tried to delete the videos or whatever, but you can't do that. I, I did notice something interesting, though, that of course both Elena and Christy have the Capoeira Jenga thing as their battle stance. It's very noticeable how Elena does it kind of smooth, kind of slow, while Christy does it, like, pretty quickly. I guess it could be kind of different so that, you know, both girls aren't having the exact same stance. Those girls are both so nice. So, you know, they, Christy has a bit more of a street attitude and... I think it's just nice and cuddly and cute bootsy acting though. Those two should have had a team that they're like together instead of fighting against each other. Like it should have been like the Capcom Tekken team of both of them. Street Bar Tekken. Oh, and there's Abigail, the boss. It's one of the lesser known bosses that never came out in Street Fighter or any other game. I mean, he might have come out in some of the backgrounds or whatever, but. Yeah, okay, watch out. With a name like oh. Abigail. I mean, yeah, you would be pissed, wouldn't you? Yo, you don't mess with him. No crap. 
you're and I'm all sure almost me, I'm down. Oh, you're dying now. Yeah, it's always similar when you Oh fuck! It's always similar like like when both of us are together and shit. So, yeah, this is gonna be just one level guys. We're already kinda of passing the 10 minute round, so after this we're gonna end it. So let's let's take Abigail down, which is easier said than done, and now we got all these other oh, idiots yeah. in the way. Watch out for the traps. Okay, his energy is um, back like yellow, so... Of course, that doesn't help me. Or you, because we're dying and shit anyway. Yeah, oh. I, have, I, I have like this. Wait, who's that? Who's that? Much Damn it, stop! Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck. Just kill him already. Just kill his ass. Well, of, oh. course, well, of course, there are limited continues, but... Trying to... There you go. Who has this? Dead, yeah. So that's round five clear, and we're gonna wrap it up. This is the final level here, Uptown, where we fight Spe where we fight, where we face Belger and rescue Jessica. So I've been, um, you know, entertained, shall we say, by the Mad Gear Gang this whole time. But we'll see you all next time, guys. It's Mark Rodriguez, Johnny Rodriguez, Retro Fighter. See ya next time.